welcome back. We are back for the third part of this bow, the spikes. And there is a trick to doing split spikes. Um, I had to figure it out. <laughs> so I'm going to help you guys through that so that you don't have to go through the process that I did. You are going to need one, two, three, four spikes for each side of the split. So for the Wednesday side, these are the colors that I chose. And for the Enid side, I went with these. I'm going to go V cut all of these and then I will be back to show you how to handle these two pieces, which are going to be the center spike. But I will be right back after I V cut all of these. A few moments later. All right, we're back. Spikes are cut and they are laid out in their individual pieces. Um, the Not pieces, halves. They're laid out in their individual halves. They're important to keep them in halves and not put them all together. Um, I know that is the, um, the instinct when you're making spikes, but it's very important that you don't do that. Now for this middle spike, where we have the two pieces of three inch ribbon, we are going to do a split spike, like we've done split with the rest of the bows. And yes, you guessed it. The double-sided tape is coming into play again. Because I want this very stable and because it is the central portion of the spikes, we are going to double side tape both pieces, not just one strip on one. So I tried to do one strip on mine prior to, and I had to scrap this piece and go back because it was splitting in the back. So. This is the way that I found works best. You're gonna make sure that the double-sided tape sticks to the ribbon and then peel off the paper. Do that for both sides. Now you're gonna use, again, the grid to line this up. so that you have a half inch overlap. And I did a little bit of crooked, but it'll be fine in the end. Press down to make sure that everything has adhered and you're good. Now to do these spikes, you're gonna need obviously scissors, double-sided tape, your ribbon pieces, four, and four, these are five in, five and a half inches wide. These two pieces are three inches wide that we've made into one five and a half inch piece. Um, not needed, but helpful are these sawn clips. As you can see, they are on the spikes. They act as a third hand. Sorry if you can hear road noise. There's a lot of trucks going by. Um, you're gonna need a lighter to heat seal and your needle and thread. Today is a really busy day on my road. I live on a main road between the coast and the capital. So sometimes it gets a little busy. Now we are going to come up through the center, back to front, and then wrap. These are where, where the salon clips are ideal for this because you can do all of this through the clip. And wrap around one full time. And then we are going to pull the clip off. 
how it's important to have one full wrap because you're going to need that when you lay out your spikes to cinch it. So lay out your spikes, make sure they are exactly how you want them. And put your fingers down on top of the spikes with the thread in the center. And you are going to pull to cinch closed. You can also wrap partially around the front if that helps get you a tighter cinch. And then once you are satisfied, wrap around like once more and knot off on the back. You can do your knot of choice. I just go for this one. This is how I was taught. Um, my mom's a quilter, so anybody who quilts out there, if you recognize that knot, um, that's why. And you are going to clip off. Would it help if I could see? And at this point, you should be even. Do a little bit of tugging and pulling until you are. Um, I pull in some of my double prong clips to help hold it into place while I'm making sure that we are all even. All right. Lay that to the side. And then you're going to sew up the other piece. Quick knot my thread. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other one. Um, if you don't want to sew with the clip on, you can always pull it off. It is possible to do this without the clip. Like I said, the clip is just an extra helping hand. Again, wrap it around the center and pull tight. And wrap a couple more times around the center until you know you have a nice snug cinch. And then knot off now we are not going to be clipping the thread here we're going to let it go because we still have to connect the two halves together so what we are going to do is smush the two sides together like that and that thread that you did not clip just wrap around a couple of times whatever feels good to you um, I would recommend doing once or twice and then cinching in don't do what I did because you just unwrap the thread and cinch and then wrap around a couple more times I know this looks really ugly, but it's going to come together when we sew every uh, when we glue everything together. All right, we've got those two pieces connected. And if you feel like you have to do the cinching and sewing with this, you can always glue it on. But if you feel like you have to do the cinching and sewing, find your center first. I tried to fold it and I wasn't too sure of where my center was. So find your center, do the crease. And then do your fold like that. And if you have left the 
thread on the needle like I have. You can just go straight up the center while I knock into my camera. And again, wrap this around a couple of times until you know, until you're certain that it's, it's gonna stay usually twice and cinch is a good idea my thread is a little short so I am going to knot it off here but you can go around a couple more times if it would make you feel better um, I have to knot it off a little differently than I normally do because my thread was too short and I'm just gonna clip this off up here towards the needle because I am not 100% certain on that knot so we're going to knot it off a couple more times in the back just to be 100% certain. All right. Like I said, it looks like a mess now. These spikes do look like a mess. I will freely admit that. Um, but they are going to come together when we glue everything together. So there you go. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you on the next video when we put everything together. All right. Bye.